Hello everyone, I'm Afaf Khanj and welcome to South South News. We're very happy to welcome the Minister of Information Society of Macedonia, Mr. Ivo Ivanovsky. Your Excellency, such a pleasure to meet you. Thank you, pleasure honor, is mine. Honor to see you today. Let's, uh, let's talk about key into information communication technology. It's a key component to any country's development. What are some of the mechanisms underway um, already in place, let's say in Macedonia, when it comes to um, information communication technology to develop a country's economy and of course to help bridge the digital divide? Definitely information and communication technology is a top priority for the government of Republic of Macedonia. Starting from the educational sector, healthcare sector, the whole civil sector, e-services, e-governance, uh, there are a lot of projects that we started and we have implemented and many of them are following to be implemented soon. Is uh, something that uh, we decided to do in order to create a transparent government, efficient government and to provide services for the citizens uh, which are efficient and we represent as a responsible government for citizens. Some of the better known projects that the Republic of Macedonia has done is the Computer for Every Child project, which uh, at the moment we have the ratio of computer to students in Macedonia is 1.4 to 1. So we are the leader in the world. Uh, it's a project that we started in 2007 where some of the students have uh, PCs in front of them, some of them have laptops, every teacher has a laptop, and we have uh, implemented a lot of digital content in order to introduce the computer as a tool in the educational system that can provide uh, interactive scenarios, interactive material among the students and the teacher. We have also implemented the electronic health card. We have uh, a lot of services that are electronically available by using a digital signature for the citizens so they don't have to go to the local government offices anymore. And there are many more that uh, we are implementing in the moment in order to make the government offices uh, more efficient. Wonderful. Let's uh, bridge over to a key component that we talk about just about every day at the United Nations and that is sustainable development for every country. How does ICT tie into green growth and sustainable development? ICT, just like in the private sector, same as in the government sector, is very difficult to provide the return on investment when it comes to implementation, especially when it comes for investing the taxpayer money. But we as a government have decided that uh, we will focus on this in order the young generation or the citizens of Macedonia will have a better life, better quality of life. That's how the green growth, uh, the climate changes at the moment are also one of the Millennium Development Goals and that's also a big uh, uh, item on our agenda as a government. So like many other countries, we are following the trend of the Western countries, the more developed countries, of how to preserve energy, how to use ICT in order to make the citizens more aware of the action that has been taken by United Nations and other countries. And I believe that uh, we as a country are a country that uh, doesn't use energy as much as uh, other countries, and we've been able to accomplish that by using alternative energies. Minister, let me close with my final question on climate change as you touched on it. We've seen the devastation in Japan and other countries and, and, and it's, it looks like natural disasters are really becoming more frequent, whether it's climate change or whether it's something that just naturally occurs in our world. We can, that's another argument, let's say. But how can ICT truly help in, in climate mitigation and in, in strategies for disaster management. And of course, if, if you can offer some best practice solutions from Macedonia or even what Macedonia is working on today to help preserve its own country. Well, that's a very difficult question. And especially when we see the results of what happened in Japan, the unfortunate catastrophe, and Japan being a leader of uh, ICT country, if uh, it's very difficult for a country like Macedonia to quantify and to compare what we have done and what could have Japan done or another country. So it is um, up to us just to learn from other countries, learn from the mistakes or learn from the signals that were missed from uh, these unfortunate catastrophes and use ICT to better inform the citizen to be a little more proactive when it comes to finding the right signals of climate change, of disaster that are about to strike, and uh, use ICT to inform the citizen. We try to extend our broadband network, especially in the rural areas, in order for those citizens to be 
faster informed, just like the citizens in the urban areas. That's a challenge, I believe, for many countries, and that's something that uh, we will continue to do. But again, it's a difficult question, and we can see that uh, Mother Nature is still something that uh, no one can play with. If I may ask you one more question, what is your focus in terms of development for Macedonia, in terms of other developing countries sort of emerging from conflict even, what, what would you say to these countries in terms of ICT for development, for bridging the digital divide and for their economic empowerment? What are your words to these countries? Knowledge, know-how, that is the basic for any project, that's the basic for implementation ICT and that's the basic for growing a knowledge-based economy. I believe that uh, any country should invest in knowledge. The smarter population they have, of course you'll have more entrepreneur, the better economy you will have. Macedonia is a country that doesn't have a lot of natural resources, so we're investing heavily in knowledge because we believe the knowledge of our citizens is something that can bring value added like no other natural resource. God bless. Your Excellency. Thank you. It's been a pleasure and honor. Pleasure is mine. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us here on South South News. I'm Afaf Kanja. We'll see you soon.